Hey guys, down here, welcome back to my channel. So we are back with a bonus video for this week and we are going to do a one minute, 10 minute and one hour build challenge. Um, so the 10 minute and hour build I know will be okay. How the minute build, I have no idea how it's gonna go. Um, I will probably, no, I will fail measurably, but that's okay. Um, I did try looking for this on YouTube to see if anyone else has done it. Um, I haven't seen anything or found anything, um, but that was just me. I dug for a bit, couldn't find it. So yeah, we're gonna see, we're gonna see how this goes. So I have my timer all set up and um, yeah, this, this should be interesting. Okay, so here we go. This is the one, actually, you know what? I'll even make sure, gotta make sure that the sound is on. Uh, set timer sound. We will do. Let's see. Uh, let's do. Sure. No. Nope. We'll do that one. That. Okay, so that will mean our time is up. So here we go. Starting in three, two, one. Okay, so I have no plan but we're gonna get um a room there and then there's the bathroom and okay let's just get a door there uh there's the front door uh, okay we need some windows so window 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 okay perfect sounds good great okay let's get um a shirt okay ah okay yellow walls okay great fantastic those will be outside walls that works. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's get some furniture real quick. We have 25 seconds. <laughs> ah, okay. This is ridiculous. Get into- oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is- this is bad. This is really bad. This is really bad. I don't know, guys. I'm just placing things down at this moment. I'm just trying to get something in here. Let's get a toilet. Ah. Ah. And this is just random noises. I'm not even thinking about what. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that is it. That is our one minute house. There is. Except for colors, I mean, at least it's livable. Um, I mean, there's no countertop, so they can't cook anything. Um, at least they can sleep and they can use the washroom. So that is our one minute house. Look at that. And you know what? The house, it's. Pretty cute, it's symmetrical, you know, very modern or modern industrial on the outside, um, and then the inside is just beautiful surprise. So that is actually, oh, that's so bad. All right, all right. Now we're gonna do our ten minute build. All right, so now it is time for the ten minute build challenge. So ten minutes on the clock, starting. No. Okay, let's see. Let's get maybe like a room here and we'll do bedroom there and then we'll do like a bathroom right there. I think that makes some sense. Okay, front door. Um, we can go kind of same style, but we'll go a little bit different. But again, it's just about getting it in there. And of course, we'll make it a little bit more fancy. So the bathroom can be in the master bedroom. So no access to people's actually you know what no I will not use any custom content I will be nice um okay we're gonna go ahead do maybe blue see the goal for this house is at least have like something a little bit more you know like usable which would be nice uh, well not usable but like functional functional I think is the word of the game here that is yeah definitely gonna be it okay so we have just under a minute left or not no 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 <laughs> sorry we have used a minute sorry then my bads my bads wrong word choice um sure we will go with this one and um i think that's just kind of a good um spot so we'll get a side table and you know, you know what we'll actually get a dresser and that can go there uh, we're gonna go all white. Can I just make it a little neutral? Have the, the colors pop on the wall. Um, okay, actually, no. We're going too much in decorating. Uh, okay, here we go. If we have any time left, I'll go back and then I'll make it um, a little bit more 
stylish is the word I guess we're gonna use. Ah, okay, there we go. And we'll throw that sink in. And a mirror would be nice so we can look at ourselves. Okay, and we need some lights. So we got eight minutes left. Okay, so I mean, 10 minutes actually not not too shabby, not too shabby whatsoever. Definitely doable, definitely doable. Okay, um, let's go here. We're going to get bookshelf. I mean, actually, you know what we can do is we can do this, is use our tiny living furniture. Boom, bada bing. Now we have three things in one. Perfect. Um, and we need a couch that kind of makes sense in this space. Uh, maybe we'll go with a black couch. I don't know. Maybe. Sure. That, I think. I think it works um okay so we need maybe some extra seating and we'll maybe put something like there and something like there yeah looks good to me um we'll worry about a rug maybe later just get some things in um yeah this is very white huh let's maybe roll in okay so i guess black and white is the look for this area well maybe this yeah mm, no uh yeah yes no. Uh, let's do that. Let's do the green. Let's just mix it up a little bit, huh? Um, and then, ooh, no, not that. That doesn't look good. Maybe we'll stick with the white there. Yeah, I think that works. And then we'll do like a till green thing. I don't know. That works. I guess so. It is what it is. Um, but maybe I'm going to move that there. Make some room for a kitchen. We got six minutes left. We still got to put do the outside maybe try and put in a roof maybe throw in some some trees real quick I don't know we're gonna see what we can fit um okay we need that one oops oh my goodness it's like when you panic you just cannot get anything in there um okay we got stove we got a fridge at least this time you know we can actually make some food because we didn't have a countertop uh in the last one where's that one there it is um uh, no you know what that's okay we'll just uh we got that fridge and we got a sink. Okay, perfect microwave. Get the ability to cook some good old food. And um, I know we can. Um, nope, nope. Come on, let's go. Okay, perfect. There we go. Uh, let's get some cabinets. And we still need a um, dining room table, too. Cannot forget that. Oh, and we need to get the. Um, a desk as well we will need that in this house uh maybe we'll go like a desk like that you know it's a little more compact a little smaller fits the space a little bit better uh get the chair in we're gonna get uh something that makes sense uh yeah sure that works okay ah um dining room table that's what we need here we go okay we got five okay we got five minutes we're actually doing pretty good not too bad um, not too bad whatsoever. Uh, definitely don't need to be panicking. I think we got this. We'll definitely probably go, well, not definitely. We will go in and I will change some of the colors up. Maybe throw like an actual light in here. Tie in some of that green. That's what I meant to click. So tie in some of that green color. Make it a little bit, uh, make more sense. Maybe we'll go pop light on this side. Why do I feel like these walls are so high? Is it a second? Oh, that makes sense. Okay, let's. There we go. Um. Okay, let's do outside real quick. Oh, do we not have windows in the front? I want windows in the front. I think. Um. Oh, we don't have windows in the house whatsoever. Okay, we need windows. Uh, four minutes left. Let's see. Let's see. We're gonna go with. Uh, I thought I put windows in. Did I seriously not? Wow, I'm really losing it uh not those windows those windows don't fit yeah uh, yeah sure it's a little symmetric but you know what that is okay let's do that and that okay perfect let's get a roof on and we're gonna go with this one because i think it makes more sense and yeah i mean not too shabby right I think personally maybe it's I think it works um yeah I'm actually gonna extend the bathroom out I think just because it makes more sense oh we lost what did we lose something disappeared um, okay we got three minutes left 
Um, gate roof, roof. Let's go with a trim on it. Uh, tch -tch -tch -tch. Let's do this one. And for the outside, let's go with maybe a white brick. Sure. I think that works. Okay. And actually, you know what? This roof is just so big to me. Let's just lower it down a little bit. I think it makes a little bit more sense. Um, okay. Okay, and something disappeared in the bathroom, but I'm not sure what it was. So, um, how much time do we have? We have so much time left. We have like two minutes. I can make two more houses. Like, well, that's how much time we have. <laughs> not really. Okay, let's just put in some more detail, I guess. So, let's go ahead and get some rugs in the, the bedroom, at least. Um, let's just make this one a little bit smaller. We'll get a rug in the bathroom so you're not walking on cold floor in the middle of the night. Uh, let's maybe get a side table in or a side lamp. Um, let's go with, um, sure, let's go with that. And maybe a painting above the bed would be nice. Oh, you know, some detail in this room would be actually kind of nice because we don't have anything here. Sure, that works. Okay, we have just under two minutes left. Yeah, we got plenty of time. We're killing this challenge. This is easy. It's actually isn't that hard. Ten minutes is actually a pretty solid time to make a house, to be honest, in The Sims 4. Like, you don't actually really need that much time. That doesn't really match the bed, but you know what? We can even... We have so much time we can even change the bed out. Like, come on. Come on. This isn't that hard. And watch, you'll probably <laughs> be like the ugliest house of all of them. I don't know why I'm adjusting that. Okay. Uh, we have just almost under a minute left. Coming up on our final seconds here. Bring that out a little bit. Um, I mean, I'm not loving the living room, but you know what? It is what it is. I think it maybe a rug will tie it all together. Maybe like a black and white rug. Where's this one? Yeah. Is it can't fit? Oh, okay. Well, that's okay. Um, let's make it a little bit smaller. Okay, we got 50 seconds left. And you know what? I'm going to go fast. I'm going to turn on some move objects here make this fit just maybe a little bit nicer in the space okay we got just under 30 seconds and you know what i want some need some plants in this house i think greenery would really help so we're gonna put something there and we're gonna get something for table there we go oh that's actually a <laughs> good thing i caught that and Ooh, oh, ooh, oh, um, I just realized, okay, we got 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, put that there, oh my god, I didn't put any plants out here, okay, ah, there we go, okay, that's it, that is the house, that is the 10 minute house, <laughs> the one sad little tree outside, oh my god, that is too funny, all right, I'm gonna take some screenshots real quick, and then we'll be back with the one hour house. Alright guys, so we're here with a one hour build. Uh, now this house was very much unplanned. Definitely was going just kind of like by the seat of my pants, not really planning it. Um, but you know what, it actually didn't turn out too, too bad. I will have to say, after doing the first two houses, I was like, oh man, one hour, like, I have so much time. Like, I can take as, like, as long as I want. Like, I'm so gonna be done, like, so fast. And by the time I wasn't even done the, like, first floor, it was 30 minutes gone because I had focused so much on the kitchen and like working on like what I actually wanted for the house because I didn't come in with a plan um, for anything which was actually a stupid idea just saying but it you know it, it, it turned out pretty good um, now this house is two bedrooms one bath? Is it really only one bath? No, two bathrooms. I lied. Sorry. So it's two bedroom, two bathroom. Uh, you have three or two outdoor living areas, an indoor garden, plus a pool outside, and it's fully landscaped. Holla, holla. 
compared to my last two because a tree does not count. Um, but yeah, so it's like stacked to the nines in a sense, but it turned out pretty good. Um, so on the top floor you have the bathrooms, the middle floor you have like a media entertainment space, uh, and then the bottom floor obviously you have like the kitchen, dining, and living space. And it didn't really uh, occur to me just kind of like how small this house was in like living space until I started working on the like downstairs area. Now like I could have made the kitchen kind of like go along like the the wall by the door, like the long the wall closest to the door, the longest wall closest to the door. Oh, there it is. Um, and kind of given the rest of the area space for the uh, um, dining room table and like the the living room area. But um, no, I just I really wanted like a fabulous kitchen. That's the thing, like in most of my houses that I build, I'm usually going for like the kitchen to be like the greatest part of the house because just a gorgeous kitchen is everything in my <laughs> in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, I, I honestly didn't have a plan when it came to anything and like I had no idea what I wanted these like outdoor living spaces to be. I didn't know if it was going to be like a full on outdoor living space. I didn't know if it was going to be like activities or like gardening or like music rooms like I I didn't know I didn't have a single idea a single plan I just kind of went along with the whole situation it was very much not planned like I said um but yeah no I really did like it and also like I don't normally do like orange like orange colored houses not really houses but like kitchens in this sense like if I was going to do a natural wood bottom counter I would usually end up going with like a white upper cabinet um, but I actually really do like the, like the, the tones of the oranges playing off of each other it's kind of like a burnt orange feel in a sense almost I don't know that's just me but I, I really do like it I think it worked out really really good and this is in this area right here is when I was like oh yeah there's not a lot of space left like didn't really make much sense but you know what it actually worked out really really well in the end and like I was saying so where the TV goes in like two seconds like I could have gone the the kitchen like along that wall and like made like dining room and like the room kind of bigger but I kind of sacrificed living space for like kitchen space because a large kitchen is like my own personal dream. So any house that I can like make insane with a large kitchen is what I'm always going to do. Um, and then there are some objects that I use in this house using the show objects or the show hidden objects cheat and the buy the bug. Um, if you don't know how to get it, it's super super easy. Uh, it's just first you have to type in bb.testingcheats and then once that cheat is entered you can type in bb.showhiddenobjects all one word uh, and then that will have a mass amount of items show up and then also if you go bb.bydebug so b-u-y-d-e-b-u-g um, that is also another cheat you can get for some additional content so that way it's you know especially if you don't have like a lot of packs like I have basically every single pack except for my first pets and I don't have to tell you why if you already know but let's just say um, not ever gonna buy that pack it's just my thing um, but like it's it's hard if you only have base game stuff because like I totally remember playing base game and building with just base game and let's just say the style that the Sims team has definitely start going towards it's definitely looking more and more like custom content like I used to always use custom content I always had to have custom content I never built anything if I didn't have it like if I couldn't have custom content like I would barely play sounds like back then but like now with the stuff that we have I deleted probably most of my stuff not only because it takes up like so much room but because the stuff we have now actually isn't even that bad like the biggest things that I probably still use um, which for some reason I got rid of but like it's the custom content beds just because they are more like my style and not like this weird mish match of like weirdness <laughs> that we have in the sims um, and then like the dressers 
because for me custom content dressers are like a better size I don't know I just feel like the Sims 4 dresses are so oversized for like the rooms it doesn't really make much sense so that's like my go-to is custom content beds custom content dressers and then of course like some kitchen stuff but sometimes it gets like too like fake looking it doesn't really fit in the fill of the Sims 4 but it yeah I don't know I don't really use it that much anymore and I used to be like custom content all the way otherwise I will not play like it was just always custom content but now I really like I really 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 like the feel of like sims 4 items so yeah back to basically what I was saying is base game stuff I feel the pain but now the, what we have going on not too shabby and I also love that they keep giving us new swatches for like old stuff like it absolutely love um but for things that we also missed like while well, I was just rambling on so the upstairs bathroom um bedrooms are done as well so pretty basic the master bedroom I had some issues with not liking the bed absolutely hated every single option that we had so I landed on what I landed on but again if I was building this house for custom content I would have used a custom content be uh bed but then it yeah, like, I don't know, it's just, the beds are not, like, not good. Not good. We just need, like, basic beds. <laughs> it's, like, the best way I can say it. Because everything we have is not basic. It's very, like, a niche design. Like, it's only going to fit a certain type of house that you're building. It's not a bed you can use in every single, like, house, if that makes sense. Like, I just want, like, a basic basic bed nothing fancy just basic no crazy patterns just a nice basic texture with a nice basic wood bed frame nothing too crazy no crazy designs like just a simple simple design almost like an Ikea design is the best way to say it but not like that really fake obvious wood I don't know I'm going off the rails here anyways back to the build um so it's just the little garden area that we put um downstairs by the kitchen kind of like place you can kind of grow your herbs and all that stuff. I don't want to cheat and bring in uh, stuff off the gallery, so if you want to, that's absolutely fine. I just prefer not to do it, um, because you can down, like, rooms that have all the plants and everything, and that way, I was like, if your person wants to grow herbs downstairs, like, fresh herbs, like, basil and all that type of stuff for their kitchen, then that's, like, a perfect spot for them to do it for, because they can grow it all year long. Um, and then we do have, like, a pool and just, like, outdoor activities. I really want to make this house jam-packed as full as possible, and I believe, you can also tell, too, is that I did like all of this in probably 30 minutes because like I said I was like in the middle of finishing the kitchen I realized I only had 30 minutes left so this whole half is done with 30 minutes so I was actually quite impressed with myself uh, and then I wasn't really sure what to do up here either it was very like uh, figure it out as I went because just nothing was like really working in a sense um, and I didn't want to use wood flooring on this patio, and though it just, to me, it didn't make sense to have wood flooring out here. So I think we actually end up using a carpet that at first I was thinking about using as a rug, and then went that way instead. And then I wanted them to be able to, like, to enjoy coffee up here and not have to walk up like three flights of stairs or two flights of stairs. So we do put a coffee machine and a sink up here, and hopefully they don't, you know, walk up here to wash their dishes, but knowing the Sims, they probably do so if you download this house I'm so sorry but you just delete the sink and then boom bada bing you're done uh, but then you have to wash your I mean I guess you could wash your cups downstairs but I was just trying to make it easy um, and then I just kind of started I think I had like maybe 10 10 minutes left at this point so I just kind of started going through the house and just kind of adding in any last minute details that I wanted to do beforehand but didn't want to waste time in doing it uh, because at that point I was just kind of like get everything done anything that we have left to put into the house we were gonna just go ahead go back and do it anything that we didn't have time for then we didn't have time for and what it was is what it was but I really do like the outcome I think it actually looks really really good for me rushing like the last half of it um, but like just obviously like, the little tiny finishing touches is something that I love doing um, and we are gonna jump into screenshots here like really really soon like honestly like probably the next five seconds but yeah just Honestly, little finishing touches kind of make it a little bit more homely, more lived in, not so much like Stark magazine, like ready. Um, but here we are into screenshots. So the first one is our one minute build. It's so sad. Like it's, it's so sad. That's just the inside. 
Yeah, that's probably like the worst house I've ever built. Like, ever. Uh, and then we have the 10 minute build, so not any better for the outdoors because I kind of forgot. Um, and then just kind of an overall look for the inside of the, the house. Um, kind of just very fastly done is the word I'm going to use. Um, again, not the best, but you know what? Not the worst. The one minute house was definitely the worst built I've ever ever done. Uh, and then just jumping into our one hour build here. So this is the outside of the house. I actually really, really like it. And I think it blends into the environment like really well. Um, if I could have done one thing different in this house is probably more like wall decors. Also the kitchen wall um, tile kind of cuts off in the like living room area, but I think it's all right. And then we just have the garden outside, got a computer desk upstairs, little study office nook. Um, our media outlet, media outlet, media area, watch all the movies, um, and then we have the master bedroom, and then the Jack and Jill bathroom, so both people in both bathrooms, so like bedrooms can use it, and not have to kind of walk in and out of each other's bedrooms, which I think makes a lot of sense. But anyways guys, gonna leave it off here, hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, don't forget to hit the bell, and don't forget to leave your comments ideas down below. Anyways guys, have a good day, and I'll talk to you all soon.